Y'all, it is wild out here. It is wild being a woman because listen, I am one million percent for women's rights. I think about it actually all the time. I have two daughters. Um, but what I also think about a lot of the times is that like, I don't want to do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, what's going on, y'all? I'm mean, King Von holding it down for the cool tip, man. I'm right back at you. And today I wanted to bring you something while I was on the road, man. And it's kind of dope to see a woman actually come into her own, right? And be an independent woman, but also be able to tell the truth, right? And I think that's what's needed so much because we have this one-sided narrative nowadays that makes it seem like men are lessening, men aren't ish, women don't need no men, blah, 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 blah. The whole thing is just being painted out in front of us as like, this is the new modern woman. And in all actuality, I really believe that it's more women that's like her. I think there's a lot of women like her that wish and need a traditional man. What's up, champ? And uh, nonetheless, I wanted to see what you guys thought, right? So I wanted to bring it to you. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Y'all, it is wild out here. It is wild being a woman because listen, I am one million percent for women's rights. I think about it actually all the time. I have two daughters. Um, but what I also think about a lot of the times is that like, I don't want to do it anyway. <laughs> you know, like I'm glad that we now can drive cars, but I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive, but I don't want you telling me I can't do it. I also don't want you to do something because I'm a woman thinking that I can't do it myself. Um, but then I think it's, you should do it for me. Like when I'm unloading something from the car that's heavy and, and, and a man sees me unloading it, like I, I, I don't want him to assume that I can't do it on my own. But if he doesn't help me, <laughs> that was rude. That was really rude because I don't want to do it by myself. And it was heavy. You know, th there's a problem. There's a problem. This is a problem. I'm admitting that. And the first step is admitting that you have a problem. Also, like, do not think for me. I can think on my own. But please don't ask because I don't want to use my brain. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. But I want to have the ability to. It is confused. It is wild out here. Being a woman is crazy. Crazy. Or maybe I'm just crazy. But either way. So you saw that. You heard that. And, you know, I, I find it funny, first of all, man. I thought it was kind of comical. I think she's kind of cute. You know, all those good things. And uh, But I, I really like the message. And I wonder to myself how many women actually grasped the message right uh and it doesn't make you inferior to feel like hey i would like a traditional man or a traditional life or i feel like i'm tired of having to struggle and do these things on my own um uh, i believe many times that women bring these type of situations on themselves though as well right i don't believe that there was never a man or anybody in her life that was like hey let's go do this thing together I don't believe that there was never a moment where she didn't have that opportunity. She may have chosen to go a different route, right? The independent route, right? And shunned away or pushed away the man that was trying to be that, right? This is possibility. And I think this happens with many of women in many of situations. And it's a recurring thing, right? That later on in life, they realize, oh man, it would have been so much better if Oh man, I wish I could go back in. Oh man, I can't believe I'm still single, but where are all the good men? Well, you pushed them all away. You told them you didn't need them. You made them feel as if they were inferior to you. Therefore, they went on and found and reestablished the, their dominance and their superior, uh, or not even dominance, but their manhood with the woman that was in her womanhood. So I feel like if people would really listen to what she's saying, or if women, if women would really listen to what she's saying, maybe they can get the lesson before him. My mother always told me, learn through where I've been, right? Learn through my actions, right? You, that's, that's a life lesson happening in front of you. If you see it, you recognize it, maybe you can avoid the pothole or the pit or the, 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 the pitfall before you get there. If you learn vicariously through somebody else's life lessons. Nonetheless, I would love to hear what you guys think, man. Why don't you go ahead and shoot me your comments below. Please forget, don't forget to do that. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch all you cool kids at the cool table next time. Deuces. Just let me know in the comments.